going on board, Bob. I'll see you later. Okay, sir. It's Mother! Charlie Baby's come back to the net. Welcome home, delinquents. I thought the city council issued an ordinance against you. Hi, I'm Bob Draper. School must have assigned you as keeper. Don Pringle. Don here's a desert rat. Never seen the big water before. I figured uh, somewhere on the island put a little juice in the old battery. <laughs> I think you'll like it if you can take him. I did. You should have seen him coming up the coast. I don't think they sell bikinis in Arizona. Well, they sell them. But I never saw so many trying to cover so much with so little success. Don't let it discourage you. I felt the same way myself once. It only gets better. Well, talk about discourage. Have you seen the new crop? It's fine to me. Uh, decisions, decisions. I've seen three exactly my type. There's the final boarding whistle. Yeah, the Ziggy Lady. I'll be around if only to keep you guys out of trouble. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm in charge. I plan the agenda. In Phoenix, you showed me all the ugly glories of Gila monsters and cactus and ham. On Catalina, believe it, man, I am team. Surfing. Girl. Big game fishing. Girl. Scuba diving. Girl. Which all happen to love good old Charlie Moss. I'm in your capable hand. All right. And we start the summer with a bang. I'd like to start right now, below deck. Let me breathe a little bit, huh? I've been driving all night. Breathe, live, if Mohammed won't come to the mountain. Much. Yeah. Yes, I have. There is a whole world in this field, Dad. And there is life. All sizes, shapes, and colors. You sure could get hung up on it tomorrow night on the beach. Oh, I remember once. In Naples, it was. I dove into the sea and began swimming underwater. And there was this small fish. He wasn't afraid of me at all. He swam alongside of me for the longest time, fishing boat ahead, frightened. And I never saw my little friend again. How long will you be in Catalina? For the weekend. Perhaps longer. Why? Great. Because would you like to go swimming with me tomorrow night? And we might even meet your little fish again. Oh, that would be wonderful, but I'm afraid that... Don, baby. Go get him. I can't help whatever it is I do to him. Come on. Go. Hey, let's dig a little Richard and really turn it on. Bye. 
I do the best I can with what I've got. <laughs> Let's go downstairs now, sure. Uh, Dad is low. I'm afraid our son wouldn't approve of our little business venture. <laughs> I know what you mean. You just can't trust a kid who don't follow baseball. <laughs> Let me see the scroll. What do you think, Ann? Well, with the equipment we had below, it shouldn't take long. I should have the duplicate finished in less than 24 hours. 
Olympics. We're a great little team. Hey, why two? One for the genuine, one for the duplicate. A slight difference being a small dot on the real case to avoid confusion. Boy, you think of everything. Hey, have you contacted our fat Greek pigeon yet? Friend Lakopoulos arrived last night over there. You know, I hear he's got a whole castle filled with stolen art treasures stashed away in Switzerland. How come a millionaire like Dino Lakopoulos wants to be a crook? One needs a profession to procure one's taste, Lawrence. Oh, I see. First, we show him the picture. He okays it, right? Right. Then we slip him the phony scroll that you're going to paint tonight. And we walk away with half a million bucks. Then you'll return the original to its rightful owner. Oh. Well, now, that part I don't like so much. I mean, how come we can't keep it? We certainly can't keep it. That would be dishonest. Well, the deal we're pulling on Lakopoulos ain't exactly kosher, you know. Ah, but not quite the same. Lakopoulos is a proud thief. That's the only way he'll do business. It's expected one will try to cheat him. Arthur, you've outdone yourself this time. Oh, you're simply glowing with imagination. Ah, oh, dear, I'm really very proud of you. Thank you, dearest. I must admit I do have a flair for this sort of thing. True, true. <laughs> at the club, dear. That would be nice. made the scene out there. It's all your fault. You weren't supposed to be here until tomorrow. We finished our exams and split a day early. Where are Mom and Dad? Oh, Dad got hung up on the main line for a couple days. This must be Don Pringle. You named it right, Miss Bunny. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Catalina. Chuck mentioned you were coming in his last letter. We'll try to make your summer as eventful as possible. <laughs> well, I'm prepared to defend myself against anything you might have said about me, if I have to. Something tells me apologies are in order, Miss Bunny. Are you folks all right? Oh, yes, sure, we're fine, fine, all except my assistant. He's a little wet. I'm on board. I'm awfully sorry. That was pretty stupid of me. Oh, think nothing of it, young lady. Those things do happen. I'm Arthur Duval. This is my wife, Anne, our son, Taz. Charlie Mott. My sister, Tina, and this is Don Pringle. Tini. Oh, uh, wonderful. Glad Don. You How are you? How are you? Isn't that the Sloan's yacht you're using? Uh, yes, matter of fact, it is. Oh, the Sloan's. We met the Sloan's in Monte Carlo last season. Charming people. When they learned of our plans to spend the summer here at Catalina, they insisted that we have the use of their yacht. Is this your first trip here? Well, yes. We haven't had much opportunity to visit your little uh, treasure island. 
However, we are interested in learning all there is to know about treasure, aren't we, Anne? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I'm with you, Miss Bunny. Tad, why don't you come along? We're going to split with the boat for some scuba diving. Oh, but of course. Oh, that's a very kind invitation. Tad's been cooped up aboard ship since we arrived. It'll give you a chance to enjoy yourself, son. Meet some people your own age, like Miss Bunny here. Make the scene, man. Live a little. No, thanks. Next time around? Let's then. Dad, could I see you for a minute? Certainly, son. Uh, excuse me, dear. I'm going up to the hotel to get another sun hat. What is it, Tad? Dad, why do we come to Catalina? Came to enjoy ourselves. Why? Whenever you and Mother come to enjoy yourselves, it means you're involved in some kind of a shady deal. Son, you have cut me to the quick. I'm glad your mother isn't here to listen. When you talk like that, I know you're up to no good. What kind of a shady deal could we possibly be involved in on a small island like this? I don't know. But whatever it is, you and Mother are right smack in the middle of it. Ted, I give you my word. Your mother and I are here on a holiday, and for no other reason. Now, I'm starved. Let's get something to eat. the imagination. Ever do any diving, Don? I'm on a diving team at the university. Not quite the same. There's a trick to it. Just remember one thing. Breathe normally, but through your mouth, not your nose. Bottoms up. Hey, it looks like a gas. You'd better use the ladder. I'm on the diving team, remember? Congratulations. Now I'll use the ladder. <laughs> so I just key. Hmm, very interesting. What is it, Mr. Lacopolis? Let me have a look. Don't get excited, Barman. Too young for you. That isn't fair. You keep your mind on the business. I'll take care of everything else. I contacted Duval. He expects you. Unfortunately, Duval is a thief. A clever one. Remember that. You must trust no one and be very careful. The police may be suspicious. Go below and get ready. Why do I have to go? Why don't you send Donald? He's a much better swimmer. He is also my only sister's only boy, and a very stupid one. You, the purported art expert, I can replace. If you fail me in this, friend Borman, I promise you a long walk home. Is still out there. Yeah. You know, I'd give a month's pay to know why he's got such a sudden interest in California waters. Sure must be nice. Have all that bread. Cruise around the world on your own yacht. Yeah, but what good is it, Sid? He'll die in the ocean, and when he does, those vultures at work for him will pick his little world clean. Just waiting for something to happen is a real drag. Yeah, you take the watch for a while. I'll see you later. What will I do now? Put on your face mask. Can you breathe all right? Now duck under and swim around, but stay close to the surface. <laughs> you okay, or do you want to cough out while you're still ahead? My nose does. It won't stop breathing. Let's try it again. Take a couple of deep breaths through your mouth. But not up this time in two minutes. Fake it without me. Ready to give it a try? I'm with you. Hang on to my waist. Anything you say, teacher. Down, boy. You've got the wrong sport. When does it become the right sport? We'll talk about that later. Now hang on to my waist and remember, breathe through your mouth.
I know this Borman guy. He knows all a killer's got to know about, about killing and things like that. Oh, he's got it up here. Do you know that he knows the batting average of every white stocking player of the 1876 season? Look, I knew Lacopolis would send somebody out to check the painting, but in broad daylight and, and so soon. Oh, boy. I should have stayed in real estate. Cast off. Will you cast off the line, idiot? Tim? No, it's just some kids. Scuba diving, I think. Well, if you ask me, we're sticking our necks way out playing ball in his park. How come we got to show the real sprawl to Lacopolis, man? One thing you must learn, Lawrence, is that you show the genuine item to bait the hook, proving to the buyer that you have it is one of the distasteful but necessary things about this business. Well, maybe he won't show up anyway. Borman specified the cove away from the harbor for the rendezvous. I doubt that he'll miss it. Patience, Lawrence. One other thing that you must learn. Now drop anchor. Drop anchor? Where? Will you get out of here? Where? <laughs> Long time, eh, gentlemen? Where's the scroll? Did you bring the money? Mr. Lacopolis is not a stupid man. If the scroll is authentic, we'll arrange a fair exchange. Now let me see it.
me the other boat. It's closer. Like that was a nowhere move, Dad. No, how Tarzan does it. What happened? Well, I'm not sure. It happened so fast. This fella climbed on board. He held a gun on me, and he took my wallet. And I tried to stop him. We scuffled, and he went overboard. He didn't have any wallet when I saw him. Well, it doesn't really matter. You see, there was nothing of importance in the wallet. Did you ever see this man before? No, never. Where'd he come from? Probably swam uh, out from shore, I guess. It was like an awful long ways to swim just for a few dollars. The last time I saw him, he was heading out to sea. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's all over now, and I'm very grateful this young man didn't get hurt. Come on, Tiger. We'd better split for dry land. Thanks, Bob. I knew we shouldn't have brought the real one out here. He knows. He just struck out. Larry, would you please settle down? He only suspects something. I'm more concerned with the problem at hand. We've got to get that case back before Lacopolis sends his divers back for it. Now, I know the scroll case is watertight, but if we lose it, we really strike out. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to worry a girl. I didn't know you cared. I don't. I just hate to lose my yacht party date on such short notice. Yacht party? You're really nowhere. Haven't you ever heard of one? Is it anything like a rattlesnake hunt? And I thought you were getting an education in Arizona. Well, they're not too practical back there. They lack, for one thing, an ocean. You do have a lot to learn. They swing, really swing. In Arizona, they call this a mirage.
Anybody who wants, let's split to the beach for volleyball. Come on! on board the scuba party. You missed all the action. I heard what happened. I wanted to say thanks for helping Dad. For all the good it did, he got away. That doesn't matter. I appreciate what you did. Thanks. Wow! Swimming in threats like that. Attached like I am? Yes, why? You don't catch on very fast, do you? I'm afraid I'm not used to the speed. Oh. Don't tell me you're a drag, too. There's a way to find out. Think you can handle the beach party? I think it's worth a try. Okay, let's go. Uh, what about him? You're not engaged. Okay, Bunny.
I didn't mean to embarrass you. But this is no time to be delicate. It's a good thing you stayed behind. I was ready to sacrifice my modesty. At least I found out my suit is not for swimming. Where did your friends go? Still looking for your little fish? Oh, you remembered. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. We talked on the boat, that is, I should say I talked, but we never really met. I'm Katrina Cavelli. Don Pringle. Nice to meet you, Don. Nice to meet you. Your friends certainly know how to enjoy themselves. They're a fun group. They sure know how to get their kicks. Why aren't you with them? They wanted to see you again. Is that why you stayed? Like with my little fish, I was afraid I wasn't going to see you again. I'm glad I was wrong. Join us. The party's just getting started. They'll be back soon. How about it? I'm afraid I can't. His name is Angelo. He has something very important to do. And he's probably looking for me right now. He told me to wait down at the pier. I better get back and wait for him. First, I, I'd like to thank you for the jacket. Has he been gone long? No, not very. Don, would you like to help me look for him? Sure. Which way did he go? Down this way. I'll need three more expert divers by this time tomorrow. So you leave that up to me. What are we diving for? That's none of your business. Mr. Lakopoulos pays you to dive, not to ask questions. You'd better get out of here. Down here? Yes. He said he had to meet a man on the beach. Oh, I think I better go back and wait for him. Angela has such a bad temper. Katrina! You dig this, Angelo? We're going to be married. It's not what I asked you. Katrina! Why didn't you wait like I told you to? Oh, you were gone so long. You still should have waited. She was worried. And you keep out of this. Hey, call it, man. You looking for trouble? Don, please. Let me take care of this. All right, but if you run any static, just yell. You were very rude, Angelo. You had no right to be on the beach with a stranger. Angelo! Something is very wrong. Who is this man of patience for doing nothing and those men you always with? I don't trust them. That's none of your concern. I never should have brought you here in the first place. Perhaps you're right, Angela. Let's settle this right here and now. Finding the storm. Even the harbor patrol has an afternoon off. Where'd you split to? It felt like cutting out for a while. You tried that one on my sister. She was hung up with another guy. Hi, Bob. Hi, Tina. You like this suit? Wild. Don't you dare speak to me. Wow! Hello, 
showdown. I've decided to accept your invitation. If it's still open. Oh, uh, is it? Sam, you've got to be the mother of all pigeons. Oh, but I am not married. Don't mind him. He's got a language all his own. Aren't you going to introduce me to your playmate, Don? Katrina, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Katrina. That was real dandy sport. I'm Charlie Moss, and this is Bob Draper. But you can forget about him. He's ready for a wheelchair. Oh, how do you expect me to insult her if nobody will introduce us? Did I say something wrong? Where's Angelo? I don't know. I don't really care. Because of me? That and the man named Bakopoulos. What about Lokopoulos? Oh, Andrew is working for him and I've been Doing what? Diving, I think. That's about the only thing Andrew has ever done. Why? Could that be the diver you tangled with? No, I think it was some other guy. Who's Lokopoulos? One of our local problems. Then you know of his reputation? I'm afraid we do. I wonder why Lokopoulos needs a diver. Hang on, I'm coming! Better do something, but quick. Yeah, let's do something.
I'll do all the talking. Right. You're the pitcher. I won't say a word. Good man. Well, good morning, everyone. Hi, again. <laughs> I forgot. Hi, Mr. Duval. Oh, what a lovely day for basking in the sun. What are you doing here, Dad? I just thought I'd take my morning constitution. At two in the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Can't fool you, can I, son? No, but I've got a feeling you're gonna try. Well, the truth of the matter is, I'm here for a reason. You see, I'd like to do something to put a little sing in the weekend for you kids. Great. What do you have in mind, Dad? How about a scuba diving party? Scuba parties are nothing new. Oh, not the one I have in mind. I want you and your friends aboard my yacht by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. How does that sound? Wild. And you'll be diving for lost treasure. Items worth $5 and up. And here is the grand prize. What is it? Oh, it's an old map case. I thought I'd throw it over the side with a few other items. And the diver who brings this up wins the grand prize and $100. 100 bucks? Wow, what I could do with $100. You better check out our gear. Swing? Ooh. Don't forget, on board by 10 o'clock. Dad, I've got that funny feeling again. Take an aspirin, son. OK. I'm with you so far. But I'll be watching you, Dad. Good boy. Well, the rest is up to them now. If they don't come up with that scroll, you can bet what topless divers will. Now, did you bring the other things to drop overboard? You can talk now, stupid. Oh, oh never mind. Let's get back to the boat. They should be coming up soon. We've been diving for over an hour. There's no case. Patience, Lawrence. Patience. What have they got? Next divers. That's the third time they pop with this thing. And our time's running out. Arthur, I have a splendid idea. Why don't they all go down together for one final effort? Sound idea. Is that agreeable with everyone? Yes, really. Over there. They must be after the scroll. You see any other divers? No, maybe they found it. We can't afford to guess. Let's find out. Well, it should have made its move by now. Yeah, well, I guess they figured we were just too much for them. <laughs> I really know how to handle guys like that. Oh. You got me. Where is it? You're a very sneaky man. Oh, I'm with you. I don't have time to fool around. Where's the scroll? Should we give him three guesses? I don't see why we should. Oh, don't make him mad. Don't make him mad. Search the boat.
this is it. Mr. Duval, it's a pleasure doing business with you. But that's not the real one. The real... Hey, this cat really knows how to throw a scuba party. Did they get the case? Oh, yes. I saw them take it away from Charlie. Oh, oh my God. It's the same guy tangled with the other day. What's in that case? Whatever it was, it sure must have been worth a lot of bread. I knew you were up to something. I want to know, what's it all about? Isn't this exciting? I'd like an explanation, too, Mr. Duval. I mean, this is the second time in the last few days that I almost got myself killed. Maybe if you'll take us back to Avalon, son, I'll explain a little later. Will you put your hands down, Lawrence? Well, we really shouldn't feel too badly. The fates were against us. And it cost us half a million bucks. Boy, the ball games I could have seen with that dough. I hope they don't trace the theft of the scroll to us. Oh, not a chance. Not a chance! I took care of everything real good. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And there's always the chance of the police tracing the stolen scroll back to my folks. Are you sure this is the real scroll? The thought on the end of the case is the way they told them apart. And besides, we heard Dad talking about it. This case has been in the water for more than a few hours. The scroll we thought we were diving for was the phony. I just got a flash. When those cats find out they've got the wrong merchandise, man, they're gonna be out for blood. Let's unload this hot potato on the fuzz. Cool it. You get the fuzz into this and his folks end up in jail. Bob's already suspicious, especially in Acropolis. If your old man wants it so bad, be my guest. I, I haven't got the blood to spare for those vultures. That's no good. The minute Dad gets it back, the temptation will be too much for him. Half a million dollars is too much for him to turn down. For my bread, you should have left it where you threw it instead of going back to die for it later. Listen, Ted, I have no right to say this, but I think I know a way to... Well, to scare the larceny out of your folks once and for all and get Angelo and Borman arrested. I'm ready to try anything as long as it doesn't involve mother and dad with the police. Look, we know they want the real scroll. What we've got to do is make sure that they know that we've got it. I'm not about to have them take out their frustrations on me. You gonna cop out, Charlie? And lose my image? What's the play? We try and smoke out Angelo and Borman. Bound to be around someplace. Let's find Tina and some of the kids. Good. the bunnies. Maybe they did better. Spot anything? Nobody. 
At least not anybody who looks like the two you fought with on the Lyra. Keep looking. Move out, Screw. Mm -hmm. Don, can I talk to you a minute? What? Talk. Just a minute. We gotta go. What's wrong? About yesterday. I'm sorry I slapped you. And I wasn't really drowning either. I forgot all about that. Really? Really? But you do pack a pretty uh, mean wallet. Don't rub it in. I was gonna say for a pretty girl. Listen, Charlie Moss has got a groovy sister. And you know who else thinks so? Ted. Well, I apologize to him, too. Only first. It's them! Go find Charlie, quick. Without attracting attention. And no slip up this time. Hi. Hi. I've been looking for you. Don't make any heroic moves, my friend. I want the map case. Hand it over. Angela, what are you doing here? 30 seconds, my young friend. I don't have time for games. You were going to marry this creep. Thank you. Splendid, son. That's the Boy Scout motto. Always be prepared. We'll take care of the garbage. Go get them, Don. Can you handle this one, Mr. Duvall? No, oh, but I'm sure I can. Get him up there, boys. You bunny stay here. See what he calls your master away. What do you think you're doing? I've got you this time, Duval. Will you take these silly things off my wrist? I've waited a long time for you to make a slip, and now I've got you. What's this all about? Who are you? Fingers O'Toole, insurance investigator. This man is my prisoner. And what's the charge? Grand theft. You're a fink. Look, you don't even know what you're talking about. You stole the scroll from the collection, and it's in that case you're holding. Give me the case. It's gone. It was in there. I know it was in there. Where did it go? I don't believe it. 
Closing time, young fella. Thanks. Sure is beautiful. Yes, sure is. So, uh, you know, win them all. I lose original and gain another. Win one, lose one. Famous American cliche. I tell you it would be a long war pull, man. Enjoy. Perhaps it's best forgotten anyway. Acropolis has sailed away forever. Perhaps a little bit wiser for his experience. There's only one answer, Anne. Somebody up there likes it. No, dear. I think someone loves us. Well, what now? What's left for us? Not one single prospect on the entire island. I've searched high and low. The pigeons have all flown away. Well, you could always go to work. Yes. Yeah. Work? As Charles might say, that's a boss idea. You know it's time I did some retiring? Don't you ever, ever steal anything away. 